real honour to be here at Nordorf Robbins. This, uh, the first time I heard, heard of this next person, I was at a, a bar mitzvah or a stone setting in North London about 10 years ago, and an elderly lady came up to me and said, you're in the music business, aren't you? And I said, yeah. She said, well, you might know uh, a friend of mine's nephew. He's in the music business, and he has a record label, and he has his own band, and he makes records. I said, what's his name? He said, Mark Ronson. I said, never heard of him. <laughs> and of course, I, I went away thinking that I probably wouldn't, but I was completely wrong. Over the next 10 years, I mean, I know he was going before 2005, but over the next 10, 10 years, his career just took off, really. He became uh, a great band leader, a good musician, and unusually for a, a dance producer, he actually produced other artists as well, you know, like Rufus Wainwright. Uh, and when I heard Uptown Funk, I had to say, I was so jealous, I'd love to have produced it. Anyway, let's watch the film. So the winner of the American Express Innovation Award is Mark Ronson. When, when I was told that I was going to receive this award for innovation and they said that I could pick who presented it to me, the first person, honestly, that came to mind, I was just like, Trevor Horn, because no one's name to me is more synonymous with like making hits and being so committed to innovation and sound in the 80s. And I could spend an hour up here talking about the drum break in the middle of Owner of a Lonely Heart, but let's just like keep it moving. So. Um, I, it's weird because I never really thought of myself as an innovator like we're all the children of the things that come before us so I think of myself as like a disciple of Trevor, of Nile Rogers, of Prince, of Outkast, of Q-Tip, of DJ Premier like these are the people but um, it's almost like Play-Doh you know you, t you take all these little pieces of Play-Doh and you mix it together in this thing that becomes your own color and you just hope it's not that shitty brown color that no one wants to play with and uh, that's it. And, you know, without the great artists that I get to work with, like, there would be no one to innovate with. So people like Bruno and Amy and Rufus, of course, and, uh, and the people that put out our records, my family at Columbia and, and my real family. And then without um, inspiration, there is no innovation. So, of course, my wife, Josephine, who's, like, behind all of this, I'd like to say thank you to her. And thank you to Nordoff Robbins for this. So, thank you very much. Mark, lovely to see you. Great to see you too, sir. Now, please tell us what award you've won. I've won. Uh, yes, the Innovation Award, which, you know, for myself, uh, you know, as a producer, you're always trying to innovate, find new sounds, and, and it's a big honor to get this award. I mean, you, you know, you are absolutely smashing it at the moment. And coming to an awards show like this, what does it mean to you? I think it's really, it really means a lot because of Nordoff Robbins and the work they do with, you know, music care, and that definitely adds a, a big level to it. And then to be amongst, like, Primal Scream and Duran Duran and Real Heroes and Peers, that, that's also another level to it. Hey, this is Mark Ronson, and I just want to wish Nordoff Robbins a very happy 40th birthday. Mm -hmm.